Hello, it's Michael Jillian, and here I have a tire pressure monitoring system, uh, TPMS for short, um, and it's an external one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it is for RVs, trucks, stuff like that, and we're going to do a quick unboxing, and then we're going to do a little review, talk about it. Uh, so first, let's unbox it. Over here, it has the little owner's manual, the startup guide, and information. Definitely could be useful. We have a charging cable. It's USB-A to micro-USB. Very common cable to have, so that's nice to have. Uh, comes with one. Over here you have the pieces that go on the car, truck, tire, whatever, um, and you just t plug it right in so that's going to be very easy to install. And over here is the actual system. Under that you have a uh, mounting um, sticky, I guess. It's really nice. You put it right there, right on your car, and then mount the system to it. And over here are six nuts for extra security and for opening it and taking uh, them on and off. So let's talk about the system over here. As you can see, there are three buttons. It's got a nice uh, solar charging plate on top, and you can charge it via solar, or you could look at the side, you'll see over here the microcharger, so you can charge it either way if you don't want to have it, keep it in the sun or whatever it is. Uh, there's plastic over both of them. On the bottom, you have a little spot for yourself to put the, uh, the pad in order to stick it on, so that's good. Um, and in the front, you have the screen. Uh, now, let's just talk about for a minute uh, what TPMS is and why it could be useful. So um, I would recommend this uh, not just to people who have a you know TPMS system that's no longer working on their car because that does tend to happen. Um, the TPMS will die after a few a few years of having the car. You need to replace the batteries. You have to replace the the pieces inside, and that could be a huge pain. Costs a lot of money. You need to change your tires with it. So that could be really really annoying. Uh, so if you're looking to just um, you know get a uh, replacement then that's great but it also could be used even uh, when the TPMS in the car is still working and there are definitely advantages to having it. Having TPMS uh, will let you know if your car's air is low, if your tires air are low and it's very important to have that because if you're driving especially if you're doing long trips you want to know that you are fully um, full on air, uh, it's not leaking anything like that. It's always good to just see your air pressure uh, make sure you're not gonna have any issues along the road. Uh, this has helped me a lot of times with um, making sure that I you know, I know how much air is inside. I check before trips, but this has definitely uh, cut down on that. And now I can go on trips and not have to worry about the, the uh, tire pressure before I leave because I know that um, it's, it's high because I'm, I'm able to monitor it all the time. Uh, whereas the internal one will just tell you if it's low or if it's not low. And sometimes it's wrong and sometimes it's just disconnected. So this is a very good thing to have. Also, this one is super easy to set up. You literally just, you literally just plug it in. Um, and that's it. And you put in, uh, you put in these little things onto the tires and you're good to go. So that's really nice. There it is. Um, and it's also good to have a pump with you, uh, a tire pump. Uh, you can get that on Amazon as well. Um, I think there are many different options. Uh, I did a review on one, so you could take a look at that one, but definitely good to have a pump on you. So that way in connection with this, it'll have a, um, a good, like you'll have a good set of tools to be able to use when you have low tire pressure. So these are really easy to set up. Just take off your um, tire cover thingy and put this on. And that's it. Number one is installed. Make sure it's nice and tight. Don't want to over tighten it, but you want to make sure it's tight. There you go. Okay, we are outside and as you can see, it says that it's charging via the solar. So that's pretty nice. You always see it's charging up. Now it's on the dash of my car and it is finding all the tire pressure. Okay, so now I have this all set up and working. As you can see, the bottom two are not showing up because those are five and six, which I have not installed because this is actually just a four, uh, four wheel car. So I don't have those two bottom ones. So you can just ignore those. I changed it from bar to PSI because I use PSI. And you can easily change that by holding down the mode button. Right here, I'll show you, hold down the mode button. And it says PSI, if you press this, it'll change to bar. And then press it again, it'll change to PSI. Press that again, and you could actually change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I'm gonna use Fahrenheit because that's what I like. Press it again, and you could actually change uh, on the top left um, your uh, different what you what you what tire pressure since uh, you want. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I'm happy, um, just for the 117, I guess. And then we're just gonna hold down again, and we're back to our uh, main system. Now as you can see right here, it is giving me a notification because it's saying that I didn't detect the other two. So we just turn those off at some point. However, um, everything looks good. 30, 32, 30, 32. So um, you would definitely be able to see what's going on here. As you can see, it's a full battery on the bottom right. So uh, on the top right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Definitely recommend it. Have a great day.